great honor to address distinguished community college presidents, trustees, advisors, my fellow New Jersey all academic team members, and guests. Bill Cosby once said, in order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. This quote relates to my life. When I was seven years old, I immigrated to the United States with my family. Learning the English language was the biggest barrier, yet I managed to learn English in four years. I attended elementary, middle, and high school in this country and graduated fourth out of 350 students from Plainfield High School in 2010. However, despite my great academic performance, I couldn't take the same path as many of my classmates did upon graduation. I was one of the thousands of dreamers in the United States. I knew that I couldn't attend a four-year institution upon graduation like the rest of my classmates. My parents couldn't afford to pay for my college education without financial aid. Even though this was my, this was my reality, I still wanted to feel what it was like to be accepted into a university. Therefore, during my senior year of high school, I still applied to several institutions and was accepted into Rutgers University, Seton Hall University, and the College of New Jersey. At that time, I knew I couldn't attend any of these schools due to my immigration status. However, I didn't give up on my dreams. I had the hope that I would be able to attend college one day to pursue my strong desire to become an immigration lawyer. As a young Latina, I was aware that I had to persevere, becoming a part of the dropout, the dropout statistics or settling, settling for a high school diploma was not acceptable for me. I knew that I had the potential to one day earn a degree and become a professional. With my dreams and goals in mind, I enrolled in Union County College a week before the fall semester began. I was very thankful to find out that Union County College, a Hispanic serving institution, provided access to a college education to many students like me, who otherwise would not have the opportunity to attend college. During my first semester at Union County College, I was a full-time student with 12 credits and joined a black heritage student organization it was very important to me to get involved, meet the administration, and experience the college life. As I continue to get involved on campus through programs such as Title V Learning Communities, I began to develop my leadership skills. I later became Vice President of the Psi Beta National Honor Society. In my third year, I was elected President of the other side chapter of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. Recently, I was named the recipient of the Coca-Cola Silver Scholarship Award, which has been one of my biggest accomplishments as a student in Union County College. The college also selected me to attend a new leadership program at Rutgers University last summer. Through this invaluable experience, I met many female professionals who were involved in the political arena. The new leadership program provided a network that helped me obtain an internship working for a political campaign which led to a full-time job as a campaign assistant for the New Jersey Senator Barbara Fernandez. These opportunities have shaped me into the leader that I am today. Union County College has opened many doors for me, one of which is the opportunity to receive an excellent education and a chance to accomplish and fulfill my dreams. I graduated this May with an associate's degree in psychology. I am thankful to say that my immigration status was resolved and I'll be transferring to Stephen Hall University to pursue a bachelor's degree with a double major in psychology and political science. My future as a young Latina is to run for the New Jersey Senate one day. I also plan to establish I also plan to establish a scholarship foundation to help students who have a rich desire to pursue a higher education, but are limited due to the financial need or their immigration status. When I began my journey at Union County College, I received a full scholarship and many other external scholarships. These scholarships
theological words provided me with a hope, knowing that someone believed in me and invested in making my dreams come true. As I conclude today, I encourage each one of you, despite the obstacles you are facing or may face in life later on, to never give up. Five data captains are overachievers at heart. Thank you.